Hello there, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and I'd like to talk with you today about letting. Uh, letting is an issue that comes up quite often, and so uh, I felt like this is as good a time as any to talk about it. Uh, letting comes, the terminology comes from the old days when uh, they had printing presses and they had uh, uh, letters that were put in uh, molds in lead slugs and the, these slugs were slid into a channel uh, all the letters next to each other and uh, pushed up against there and made tight and then there would be an empty slug which was to go underneath that sentence and then another slug with words for the next sentence so this slug or piece of lead in between sentences uh, is where we got the terminology letting. Letting is the space in between sentences. So we're going to take a look at a font here. Whoever made this font uh, wanted to have some really tight letting. You can see that the A sender uh, is right at the top of the letter. So what are they going to do about having space between sentences? Well, they took care of that by uh, making the D sender uh, a little bigger. And so the character stands in the baseline. The D sender is uh, there to accommodate the lowercase letters. You know, while we're at it, let's take a look at one of those lowercase letters here. This is a good example always is the G. So here is the G standing on the D sender. Still very tight letting. While we're at it, we might as well learn some terminology. Uh, this here is the X height or the top of the lowercase letter and here uh, we have the cap height the top of the capital letter now how are we going to adjust these values what we do is go to the element menu font info and dimensions now there's a lot of things that you can do here but uh, suffice it to say that Windows has something built into it to keep sentences from colliding with each other so they're always going to be pushing the sentences apart you may not appreciate what Windows is doing so you can come in here into this typographic line spacing a sender and you can change it I'm gonna go ahead and change it here now you see that the a sender is uh, above here it uh, gives me some breathing room. I had put a guide here, pulled a fast one on you, and I had a guide there that I that I slid up to the top of the uh, cap height to show you where the A sender used to be, and now there's where it's been moved to. Okay, so this will override whatever Windows tries to do to the font. So, what could you possibly do with all this information I'm giving you? Here's what you can do. You've created a font or you've edited a font and it seems like the letting is too tight something's wrong that's because windows is fighting with you so you go to element font info again and override that value here in the typographic a sender space of course you could manipulate a little bit on the d sender and the a sender but that ought to take care of it for you thanks for watching the photography tutorial series and as always, let us know about other topics you'd like to see and refer to your user manual and tech notes. There's a lot more details about letting.